Hello everybody and welcome back to the War of Three Oceans. I'm Count Christo, thank you ever so very much for joining me. In the last episode we struck south at the Foul Allies, the British and the French. The French free, uh, Eastern Fleet was roundly trounced, Saigon captured, uh, Hanoi captured in the north, and Singapore is on the brink of falling to our glorious marine divisions. Borneo proving a tougher nut to crack. We will, I think, need to replan our naval invasion of this. Let's, uh, let's call this off. Let's call this off. We will readjust our plans and relaunch at a later date. For now, these men will be well served in, uh, over here in Vietnam, because we have a peninsula to seize control of. So let's get to that. You guys can uh, just head on inland, making sure we uh, drive these guys before us, seizing their ports as we go. Do, 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 do. Good. If one of you would just stay in the port for now, that would be good. These guys are now turning south, crushing these guys while we seize the northern part of that peninsula. Excellent. These guys here all spreading out as they should. We might as well move forward across this river as well. Okie dokie. On this front, I was trying to crush south a little bit to get some... Uh, to cut off the French supply line to Vietnam. It's not going hugely well. As you can see, our... Uh, our infantry battalions are rather old and outdated, so we may have to come up with a more inventive way of accomplishing that. So far, we're doing pretty well against the British fleet. Got some uh, unknown incoming ships there. Doing good damage to the enemy shipping lanes in the area. Now that we've captured, where have we captured? This port here and Hanoi. We've substantially extended the range that our convoy raiders can spread, so let's spread them out into those regions, make full use of that. Never really got round to using our miners here on the Straits of Malacca. Um, where should we deploy them? Let's, uh, yeah, let's kick it off. Let's start mining. These are my miners, right? And these are the sweepers? Yeah. Oh, no, these guys' names got changed. You are miners. You are miners. Good. Miners, get going. Let's mine up this region here so the Americans can't uh, can't invade very easily. It seems good. And, uh... No, not, not protect. Mine. Mine up this whole region here. And uh, as new mining subs get deployed, we'll do better and better at that. These guys all spreading out nicely. Good. If you could just wrap up this southern bit real quick, that would be good. And yeah, these guys spreading out nicely. We need some more men in the north, really. Um, I suppose if we're going to punch through somewhere now, it looks like it's going to be right here. Let's give that a go. Cut these guys off. And then here we'll have to play a more, uh, more static attack. If you guys could do a little bit of a pinning action on those mountains, that would be appreciated. And then we can move in here like this and like this good we should have some more men in the south and we can rush in there okay some of our subs also being destroyed unfortunately but many of our subs active in the region we also learnt that our screening forces were woefully insufficient so we will bear that in mind going forwards and you need to go on to port defense as well no I wanted you in the Switch the home one, and then go on port defense. Okay. Meanwhile, you guys can move down here and get involved in the attack on Singapore, which is about to succeed, which will give us control of all of those lovely resources, throttling the British plane production. They're going to have to start importing all their rubber. Huge quantities of the world's rubber are produced in this region, and our capture of that is going to really, really hurt Allied air production. Even the Americans are going to struggle for rubber production once we're done with this. Fantastic. Okay, very nearly got them here. That pinning operation looks like it came to an early end. 
and I can't attack them there now. We might still be able to break through, though, with a bit of luck. And the addition of these two forces, taking those mountains, would be very useful as well. I think we're going to get them. Navally wise, naval wise, we do have total control now, taking out lots of enemy submarines. France, how many men ship plane? <laughs> France is down to 55 ships. Wow, that's great. Let's let's take a recap of the French. I'm uh, sorry, of the overall casualties so far. We have lost, we have killed rather 67. No, we've lost 60 ships. Really? Oh, okay, counting convoys. <laughs> yeah, convoys don't really count. Let's do, uh, yeah, just us against all factions. That's fine. So, yeah, we've lost, uh, we killed five enemy submarines this month. Last month, we killed, wow, 33 subs. The loss of one of our own. We lost three light hulls, 42 of theirs. Killed 10 cruisers, five heavy ships. We have had no capital ship losses so far. Not a single one. That, though I say so myself, is pretty impressive. Especially considering we had terrible screening. <laughs> which I thought was going to cause us to have some serious heavy ship casualties. You guys can uh, head in here immediately. That would be appreciated. It looks like we still might break them here, but it's going to be a darn close run thing. Um... These guys are trying to withdraw. Well, they've got very weak in that tile. Let's, uh, let's bust through here while they... They must have just done an attack or something. Might as well get them while they're weak. We are going to get them here and they're not reinforcing it. So they aren't going to be able to prevent these guys rushing in. Good. There's the pocket. Let's move to... Uh, close up these pockets. Liquidate them. So we can remove the, uh, the pressure from behind on our forces. And move them all onto the proper front line. You guys can come in there. You guys can come in there. You guys can go over there. We would really like to push these guys back so we can widen this pocket a bit. Good. Down here, uh, just keep pushing down. The reinforcements from the south are going to make this uh, make our position here all the more dominant. More military factories. Probably captured somewhere, if I had to guess. Did we just take... We did. Nice. Singapore has a sizable, sizable industrial base. Nice. Very nice indeed. What am I going to want? I'm going to want some more naval bombers for sure. Some more factories on infantry equipment. Wouldn't go amiss. We have a lot of upgrading to do to bring our infantry equipment up to date. Did lose some, some uh, ships there. There goes British Malaya capitulating. Unfortunately, of course, this is not connected directly, so that doesn't actually really do very much at all. Okay. Um, one of our less good guys can switch to naval defense of the region. And now it's time to plan our next step of naval invasions. Well, first, let's just push these guys out of here. Next step of naval invasions. Uh, well, Borneo actually is no longer the super high priority target. It doesn't have big uh, ports in it. But we are, while we are only at war with Britain, it seems to make sense to crush Borneo. Because, you know, the Dutch, they don't have a huge navy. But they have a not insignificant sized navy. Mm, we should definitely strike at the Dutch before they become fascist. That's something to uh, to bear in mind. We really don't want them to join the Axis and then make us have to go to go toward the Axis in order to take them over. So let's uh, let's start planning our invasions of the Dutch. I expect it to be a stop. The Dutch East Indies uh, shouldn't have too many men. Yeah, seven divisions. Not going to be a problem. Uh, here to here. Capture that one nice and quick. I'd rather land in forests than mountains. Uh, you guys can go here. Wait a minute. We just planned two naval invasions from the same port. Let's try again. Can we do that now? You can do more than one naval invasion from the same port. This is such a good change. Oh, no, can we? Yeah, you can! Oh, wait, did I just alter one? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to make absolutely sure I'm right about this. <laughs> you can! You can do more than one naval invasion from the same port. That's such a good change. My goodness me. That's fantastic. Our oil reserves are tanking, by the way, with all these ships at sea. Let's, uh, let's re-up some of our Soviet imports. And where are they going to send that import chain? Is that, gonna, is that it? My God, yeah, we right. We need to uh, we need to open the Sea of Japan so we can import from the Soviets a vaguely sensible way. No, you're still going all the way over here. 
please don't. <laughs> please don't. There's ban here and here. So they just have to import from somewhere sensible. Look, just import it from Vladivostok, for God's sake. Now they're sending it all the way around, I think. Yeah, they are. Look, what if I ban this one? Now will you import it from somewhere sensible? <laughs> Is it still arriving, even though... The game seems to think I've prevented it from actually getting to me. Seems like it is. I guess now we're importing it over land. Good. Okay. Uh, naval combat down here. All good. Off the coast of Japan. Just killing some subs. Not a problem. Good. Any of my fleets looking really low on numbers? No. In fact, this sub one looks like it's high on numbers. Let's, uh, let's pull some of those out. Recommit them to the reserves. How is my mining going? Are you over there? Yes, we'll need to unban these ones. Actually, it does seem like they can they can still operate there even if I ban it. We've laid two mines here, two mines here, and one mine here. <laughs> I mean, it's not very many, but hey, every little bit helps, right? You screens can move to cover the rest of my areas now, I think. And in fact, we should really be screening, protecting our convoys in these regions too. So let's do that. Uh, I'd rather just not operate in the Gulf of Thailand. Uh, so let's ban that one. Uh, and you guys are no longer needed there. Now that we've done our naval invasions there, really not uh, not necessary that however you have fleets operating there. It's just an extra area. I'd much rather simplify the front a bit. Here, apparently it's showing that it's like a 50-50 undecided combat between our convoys and their subs. Sorry, our subs and their convoys. I have to say, I think that we're going to win that. <laughs> Alright, nice. So, the big invasion here looking pretty good is there uh, anything I would change yeah let's send an extra one of these is that going to capitulate them immediately they have fairly high war support and things probably not but I mean Batavia is a relatively big victory point so uh, let's be sure you you marines let's have a, another naval invasion from here to here and any other victory points in the Dutch East Indies? Yeah, there's one over here Waver in West Papa I'd rather not have to invade there straight out of the gates let's try with these, see if that works okay, so <clears throat> Vietnam just needs a little bit of clean up duty now and then we're finished <clears throat> many of these forces can then uh, Redeploy. Let's cut them off here. I don't want them sending more reinforcements to the south. Uh, and here we can, uh, if we get organized, we could probably just clear it up very, very quickly. Let's do that. Good. Now, we have uh, some new air bases under our control. <coughs> I'm much less concerned about raiding up here now. Let's get some people over the Straits of Malacca. Yeah, that seems good. Uh... The ones operating in the South China Sea could also change this air base once we capture it. Wrap up all that. Nice. Okay. Now we should be in very good position rubber-wise. Yeah, we can see sort of imports of that. Uh, likewise on steel, we can reduce down a bit. A mm, bit more. Oh, we can only import 80s there. Cancel those rubber imports. Good. More sieves for me. Throwing up those navies. Ooh, there's the 1940 carrier hull. That's excellent news. Um, next, probably want to get some uh, some heavy batteries done. And let's design our 1940 carriers, shall we? Superb. Just one more of those, please, lads. And then the 1940 carrier is ready. So, these bad boys, if we're going to go straight onto extra hangar space, which I think we are, up to 100 carrier uh, hangar space, nice. How come? I must have had a base hangar space, I guess. No, they're, they're each just giving 25 somehow. It says 20. Hmm. Maybe that's from a doctrine, or maybe that's an intrinsic part of this ship. I'm not sure. But there we go. 100 up from 60. That's up up from 60, rather. That's a pretty damn good increase. Don't seem to need a better engine. 
And uh, secondary batteries can only shoot. So I think these secondary batteries do actually help. They only they just shoot the enemy um, front line, I think. But I'm not sure. Don't really feel like I need radar. Anti-air for sure seems good. I mean, it's not very expensive for a relatively good, you know, four life attack. It's not nothing. But they're so expensive overall, I feel like having it without them is, is good. You're a 40 deck. Remember that the carriers can only be shot by enemy planes or if your entire screen line dies. Because even the enemy heavy guns can't shoot two rows. Alright, save it up. Yes, please, on two of those. The 40 decks. And I would like... You know what? I'm going to commission four of them. We're going to annihilate the American Navy with these things. We're going to absolutely destroy them. Okay, you guys can all go to the... Uh, battle line reserve. I'll tell you where after that. Later. But yeah, a fleet with four of these carriers in it would just shrek the Americans. I think. Uh, we will immediately start producing them. We'll lower our miner and our uh, production on those. Good. It's going to take us till uh, 42 before we're actually ready to throw them into service. But still, when they're ready, we'll get ready. Less of these, maybe. Well, I mean, this takes so long to build. I should probably keep those up. Sorry, yeah, I don't want to reduce the screen numbers. Um... Yeah, it's, it's annoying we have to rejig this this way, but that's fine. There we go. Now you can go back to these. Good. The deck. Me to just get finished first. Okay, so, um... We're not having much problem with scouting right now. It's screening that's the problem. <clears throat> so let's do that. The new carriers are very expensive, so we're going to need to import some more. Can't import with the Soviet Union. Probably because I banned those zones. Yeah. How about if I import from up here from the Soviet Union? That might actually be safer. <laughs> so if I unban these three, but keep this one banned and this one banned. Can I now trade with the Soviet Union? Let's see on the daily tick what happens there. Uh, we could also reduce... I don't know, they take so long. Alright, how about now? I trade with the Soviets? No? We are not trading with the Soviet Union. I know we are not trading, but could we trade instead? Like, will that now import it from up here? I don't know why it wants to import from the Soviets from so far away. It's bizarre. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, it looks like we can't import more, so... I guess we have to... We've already maxed out here on that. I guess our only option is to industrialize the areas where we're producing steel. That's fine, though. We can get on that. <clears throat> Something we can certainly do. And then I guess we might as well start building some factories down here, considering we've made it so fast to do so. All right, good. These guys pocketed. Means now we can move against them properly. Superb. And the, uh, yeah, the, as I expected, the Burmese front is holding fine. They're not even a f launching any kind of offensive up here. More and more enemy subs being sunk. And there's the first air fleet. Nice. Mate. Oh, a bonus for destroyers. That's just what I need. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go straight to the 1944 destroyers. <laughs> we'll have some fantastic destroyers to use. That'll be great. All right, you guys no longer needed to uh, do any just escorting up there. It's just these two zones that we're going to be using. Okay, now where am I? Uh... Yeah, some up here. You guys are needed down in Saigon. You can join this one. But where are you guys right now? That's those eight. Okay. And these guys, they're all just engaged in clean up operations over here. Okay. Well, some of you 
could certainly be used down here. How's your invader trait going? Only 17%? How about you? 0%! Good lord. Right, keep hitting these guys where it hurts. They've got no supply. So just, just quickly wrap it up. And we'll be fine. Just pin them if you would. Maybe a, maybe a quick operation in here. Nice. Striking from behind. Always good. Okay, and now some of you as well. If I could... Well, no, I'll just pinch some of these guys. Now, where are you going? What's your mission? He's just assigned to a random front line. Not befitting task for a, a marine in the Imperial Army. So we'll split them up. Launch another one from here. Go from there to there. I really hope it isn't a bug. Oops. I want a new one, not clicking on the existing one. There we go. I really hope it isn't a bug that we can assign multiple invasions from the same port, because that's such a good change. <laughs> Next up, we will get... So, naval strike or capital ships. Naval strike, capital ships. We did most of our damage with capital ships in that last battle. Let's get capital ships. No supplies up here. Yeah, that's understandable. Keep them pinned. Just don't get encircled. You need to, just need to hold him for another uh, three hours. It'll be fine. And yeah, just go straight round there. Good. Some of you could rush down here and deal with them. That would be glorious. Okay. Excellent. Now, down here, these naval invasions planned. Almost. Then we can launch them. Reckless Abandon. Really not suffering any problems with enemy ships being placed down here. Ooh, did lose a sub. Ooh, there's some decent sized French navies out here. So you know what? Give me my strike force. The prime strike force. With those highly experienced carriers. And not even close to enough screening force. My god. Beta strike force. I'm going to need... Well, the heavy cruisers aren't going to help. But uh, what, do we, what do we do then? I guess... Oh, here we go. We have some scout... Scout reserves. Yeah. Okay. How do I do this? Uh, all of you guys, pretty much. We need you to screen. I know you're scouts. You're not built for this. How bad are you? They're pretty damn bad. They only have the minimum guns. Tell me about the 1936 Scout class destroyer, please. Oh, they're not that bad. They've got two... Uh, Two light gun emplacements and some torpedoes. And they've got fire control modules. Yeah, they're fine. They're absolutely fine. Right, yeah, you can't deselect. God darn it. Alright, you guys. The main strike force has need of you. You're being called into service. And spot two, you're not really being used right now. The main task force has need of you. Let's move him in. Maybe it's dumb, given that we have this problem with screening. Yeah, it's dumb for me to do all this, like, yeah, give me, like, a crap ton of more more uh, carriers. We should be doing more screening. So, yeah, screen cruisers, screen destroyers. Give me another wave of screen V2 destroyers. And until further notice... Put them straight into the Alpha Strike... Sorry, the Prime Strike Force. I keep calling it the Alpha Strike Force. Yeah, good. How are we doing on mines? Five mines. Wow. <laughs> Still, I mean, it's not bad. Five, uh, five dead capital ships if we get insanely lucky. <laughs> All right, I'll call it apart here. In the next one, we're going to use our Prime Strike Force to wipe out the uh, French ships that we have operating in these regions, while simultaneously launching massive invasions against the Dutch East Indies. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.